All right, so think about it like this. Whatever connects to this right here is to be fractured. So if it's a box, if it's a, if it's a pig head, let's connect the pig head, all right? Whatever it is, this is to be fractured, right? So you can do all of our modeling, whatever we have to do. And that this is to be fractured. I'll even do this just to make it even more visually appealing, right? So, right, so we're beveling, we're extruding, we're doing everything is to be fractured. This part right here is to fracture it. So we have VDB from polygons. And let's just say, uh, clouds, cloud, um, hmm. cloud shape from All right, so this creates the fog shape from the geometry, right? All right, so whatever we're pulling in, we're creating our cloud fog, All right? And then we have the scatter right here. Scatter points, right? So this right here is our points from the cloud. All right. So we see we're getting the shape from this. And the beautiful thing is because it's Houdini, we can go back and add one of these in here and we can like scale this down if we need to or put it wherever we want, right? So we see the manipulator, we can, you know, something like this it's all good right and so this right here is the number of points so we can do 100 let's say and if we relax these iterations then it gives it like uh I guess it kind of shrinks it a little bit more, but um, gives gives us a little bit more random order. Or we can go to this right here, and this will randomize it for us too. And then we have our global seed, which can randomize the point of, I mean, the position of the points. So every time we move the seed, you know, if it's a one, a two, you know. Or if it's one of these floating numbers, and when I say floating numbers, that means a number with a decimal point after it, 1.1, 1.2, 1.357, 1 you know, whatever it is, right? So that's what the C does. Then we feed it into this Voronoi fracture. Voronoi, Voronoi. I keep saying that, probably wrong. Um, and now it's fractured, as we can see. All right, and then we go to the exploded view. And then we see our pieces exploded up. And because we use this fracture method, we're getting a few more, you know, I mean, not uniform, non uniform chunks. But like, let's say if we use this fog, well, I guess we get some more non uniform chunks. So it's a little bit different. And we get this nice chunk in the middle there. And this one, it looks like most of our faces are connected to like an outside face. Like none of them are really, oh no, no, we got one. Oh, no. Yeah, so I think that might be one of the differences. Let me see this again. I'm just trying to see if we have a face that's completely black all the way around or if they all have a connection to the outside world. Yeah, that's what it's looking like for both of these. Okay, and then we have an assemble, right? So this is like, uh, 
And it has um, create pack geometry. So pack our bags, all right? So it's like this, this is us right here. Um, we're doing whatever we have to do to uh, be us to, you know, um, our model to, I'll explain this one. Um, yeah, this is us, whatever we are. If we're a pig, if we're a human, if we're Eddie, this is us, right? And then we need to be uh, fractured, right? So we're kind of like, all right, we're going to be chopped up in this many pieces. And um, we're going to look up how we're chopped up, right? Then this right here is like, all right, we're packing ourselves, we're packing our geometry because we're going to go on a trip, right? And where we're going is, is into or dynamic world. So dot net or dynamic world, right? So right now this is us and we're about to get on the plane. We're packed our bags and we're gonna go to this other world, right? But we, we can't go into the other world until we pack our bags, you know? And we got our passport and all that other stuff, right? So we're going into this next world. Now this is our like seat in this next world. Let me give you my double viewport. Oh, and check this out. If you wanna um, save this, this is one thing you can do. I'm going to click on this and go to split plane left to right. So here I am right here. I'm gonna right click on this and I'm gonna go to network view. And then I'm going to click on this and do split top and bottom. And then for this one, I'm gonna left click on this and I'm gonna go to one. And then for this one up here, this is gonna be my parameters. So I'm gonna select parameters and I'm gonna left click on this and go to one. And I'll do this over here and this will just say two, 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 two. Cause this is the only one it didn't need to have the one or two. All right, so let's say I look at this, I love it. I love that I have two things. I mean, two network views and it's amazing. Then I go up to here to build, click on this, and I go to save current desktop as. Click on this and I'll name it um, Will's Split. You can name it whatever you want. We can name it Will's Split. That'd be cool. Uh, all right, so we have this now. One and two. Cool. So we can go over here. And I can say, all right, RBD packed object. Oh, and so this is cool because if I want to go back to some other kind of build, I can do it over here. I think the one we come in with is technical. I actually don't remember, but I think that's it. And we could just close this. Me, I like my will split, all right? So I'll select this, I'll go to my wall. I'll drag this in to SOP path, surface, surface operator, because these are the surface operator. This is the surface world, I should say. There's a way to write text. I just, uh, I've seen it, but I'm not exactly sure where I can just write a big text. Yeah, so let's just say this is our, our, our surface world. So this is our ground world. And now we're in the sky and this is the world of like forces and wind and everything else, all right? So in here we go um, bullet solver. We connect this to this. If we want more stuff, we can just type a merge. In any other thing we wanna bring in from our surface operator world, we can bring it in here. So, oh no. So whatever the thing is that's here, you know, we should definitely name it. But uh, 
we already know it's a wall. Well, let's say it's not a wall, I guess. It's a. Uh, <laughs> whatever this is, the thing, I'll look at updated. That's where it's going to. Now, I'm going to go uh, right click gravity. Connect this. We'll do ground plane. We'll do a merge. All right. Connect this to this. Connect this here. These things are switched. So uh, we'll click on this to get this one to come in first and this one to come in second for whatever reason is important. I think you can select this and go to like a mutual, but yeah, whatever. That's just the way I learned it. So now we click to the output. So we have our object here. It's going through this bullet solver, which is saying, all right, well, this is how things bounce. This is how things move. When things collide with each other, um, it's basically like, like the the engine that runs everything the life force of this of this world you know so it's the wind the rain the sun everything right this is the king of this world this dynamic world the ground plane's infinite our gravity is saying all right these are the forces in our world we can add more you know like wind and other things but this is just the default force and then our output spits it out. So press play. And now we're in there. All right, and if we want another one in there, easy, all right? So I can select this right here Control click. Now I have two of these and I can even switch it up and say, all right, I want to split this one up from this, uh, what you call it from, yeah, that one's ISO offset. And this one, I'm going to use the VDB. Now take this over here and I'll template this one. So I'll put the flag right here. And I'll go to this one right here. And I'll do this. I'll click on this and I'll move this over. And we could even move this up. All right. So we have thing uh, one. Let's do thing two. Oh, that's like Dr. Seuss. All right, let me, uh, let me not get on that. Uh, so let's go over here. We have thing. And then let's go to thing two. Actually, I'm not fully aware of that controversy with Dr. Seuss, so don't bite my head off. Um, uh, I'm uninformed, I'll say. All right, so I'll click on this right here. So now we got two of these things. And let's press play. And now if you look, they've interacted with each other and everything, right? One smashes, the other one has pieces that bounce and they push off of each other. So what are, whatever we want can go into this world right here and break and smash and we can uh, do things to get a little bit more control. 